destruction in the Carpathians. The forest here is disappearing, tree by tree. Though logging is illegal, a local forestry department in Transylvania, in the heart of Romania, has given the go-ahead to a businessman. The residents of the village are stunned. There is no guarantee that trees will be replanted here, that there will ever be a forest here again. They're clearing everything, nothing will remain. But I want my daughter to be able to go for a walk in the woods when she grows up. Local authorities seem unconcerned that they don't have official permission to cut down the trees. Instead, the head of the forestry department tries to drive away the residents. Leave the forest or I'll call the police, he says. The Carpathian Mountains are home to Europe's biggest intact forests. Spruce, beech and oak forests cover the huge mountain slopes on around 3 million hectares. But the precious areas are increasingly falling prey to illegal logging. Wood has become one of Romania's biggest exports. Environmental groups estimate that some three hectares of forests disappear each hour. The authorities are trying to crack down in some places. Here in the Suciava district in northeastern Romania, near the Ukrainian border, a special police unit halts trucks, checking for illegal transports. But drivers often radio other drivers with the location of inspection points. When asked what he's carrying, the driver answers, wood products. Once the trees are chopped, it's difficult to determine the wood's origin. Police are often helpless as truck after truck rolls to the Black Sea port of Constanza. Most are suspected of carrying stolen wood on board. The wood is stored at the port. From there it's taken over by export companies who sell it abroad. But the police don't bother checking farmers with their horse-drawn carts. They're aware that they're dealing with a kind of wood mafia in the Carpathian Mountains who are very well organized. The region is dotted with lumber mills on the outskirts of the bigger towns. The factories often belong to influential officials or even politicians making big money from the illegal logging. But in Suciava, the special police unit enjoys the support of forestry officials. Today, they're partially successful in their mission. At this lumber mill, they come across much more wood than the records show. The officials impose a fine of around 2,000 euros. But it's peanuts compared to the profit the company is making. Despite the euro crisis, Romania exports wood worth around a billion euros each year. To meet the growing demand in the mills, trees are now being felled in previously inaccessible areas in the Carpathian Mountains. Since the 1990s, the government has handed over around a third of its entire forested areas to private owners, Many have tried to make quick money from their trees, often with disastrous consequences. Without these forests, we will have floods and landslides. We've already seen serious erosion in some parts of the mountains. This year, drought was the only thing that saved us from the floods. Environmental activists say reforestation is rarely carried out in the region. That has caused erosion and flooding, leading to a vicious cycle of destruction, costing billions.
ceea ce primesc ei pentru munca de zi cu zi sau de la ajutor de stat sau așa mai departe. Many people are so poor they simply don't have any other possibility than to steal wood from the forests. Puși efectiv în situația de a recurge la la tăia pădurea din jurul lor, dar cei care se ocupă cu afaceri cu păduri o duc foarte bine și în sensul că But those who really benefit from the business live a life of luxury. O duc o viață de lux, zic eu. Back in Transylvania, the mayor of the village of Parnit is determined to fight to save the forest, but local forestry officials aren't willing to give up a lucrative contract with a lumber company. As mayor, all I want is for the laws to be upheld. Nobody can stop me from doing that. Almost half of the logging is carried out in protected areas. What's needed is an independent forestry authority and an alternative source of income for residents. Without that, large parts of the Carpathian Mountains and Europe's last remaining intact forests could disappear forever.